How's it going everyone? John here. Welcome back to another Streamlabs OBS tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to go and use your video capture device and what all that means and everything. Now before I get into that, if you are new to the channel, new to the series, wanting to learn how to stream, definitely go ahead and take a look at the other content on the channel. And if you're liking that content, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to also subscribe. Also, if you're wanting to hang out with me whenever I'm streaming, I stream over on Mixer three times a week, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So definitely go ahead and tune in, hang out. And if you have any questions while I'm live, definitely go ahead and ask them then as well. You can also reach out to me on my Discord, Twitter, and you can drop a comment inside any video that you're having questions about. So video capture device. What you're going to want to do is create your scene and then go over to sources, click on the plus, and then we're going to go to video capture device. It says here that you can select from your built-in USB webcam or an external. So you can use webcams and capture cards such as Elgato, Avermedia, and Blackmagic. And there's probably a bunch more, but they just give those, kind of give you guys an idea of which ones you can use. So we'll click on add source and we'll give it a name. So the first thing you're going to get is your preview window, of course. And then you'll have the ability of seeing what kind of devices you have. So I currently have the Logitech C920 as my main driving webcam. And then I also use the Elgato HD60 for my external capture card for whenever I stream console games. Now the XSplit Broadcaster and the XSplit VCam, I don't personally use. I've used them as testing purposes, but I don't really use them for any of my actual streams or content creations. So we're only going to be focusing on just the Logitech as well as the Elgato. Now I'm not going to be creating multiple ones to kind of show you how everything works, but kind of give you an idea. So if you are going to be using, we'll start with just a webcam. So we'll select the webcam and you can choose to deactivate or activate the webcam. Now there's times where you need to try to reset the webcam or reset your Elgato or something. Sometimes you just don't want to go and dig behind your computer and figure out which USB is tied to what. I personally hate doing that myself. So what you can try to do is if OBS is giving you some problems, you can deactivate and then reactivate the actual source itself. So that's what the deactivate and then it will turn to activate after you click on that. Configuring video, this brings up the configurations for that specific type of device. So since it's the webcam, it brings up the Logitech webcam properties and everything like that for us to go through and adjust maybe the autofocus and your exposure and your gain and stuff like that. So you can kind of go in there and mess with that stuff and kind of see how it adjusts in real time. The configure crossbar, don't even worry about it. The deactivate when not showing, you can have that selected. I never select it. Now, if you know for sure like what your resolution can be with your webcam and everything like that, then you can go in there and you can click on the custom. So if you go over here to the resolution FPS type and everything, you can leave it as default. Or if you want to go and change that, you can click on custom. And then it gives you all these different drop down lists of everything you can try. You can mess with the FPS so you can have it to where it will output or match the output of the FPS or you can have it set to the highest. Come on, close. Cl thank you. <laughs> um, everything else, though, I don't really touch. I mean, you can mess with it. I mean, partial color range and full color range. I don't really see much of a difference. The buffering, I leave it as auto detect. I don't flip it or anything like that and I definitely do not capture the audio so if you want to you can have it to where um, you can just leave that as it is but then when you go into like here is what I was trying to think of when you go into like your actual like mixer audio stuff you can set it to like one or you can mute it and it just doesn't do anything so you'll be fine uh, but that's going to be how you set that up but if you wanted to go and use like an Elgato as you can see, it's on my other OBS, so it's not going to show anything here, but this gives you the same type of stuff here. So you'll be able to deactivate, activate it. You can configure it if you wanted to. It's going to bring up the properties for Elgato. You can go and mess with all the different types of settings for it if you need to, or you can leave it as default, and it will match the default to whatever you have inside of the configurations and everything like that. So it's really easy to do and then once you have it everyone you want you just click done and then you can always resize everything if you need to 
So there, it's it's very very simple to just add it, throw it in there, and you're good to go. But at least you know that if you're running into some problems, you can deactivate it, reactivate it, and see if it clears it up. Sometimes you have to just close OBS completely, and then try to re bring it back up, reopen it, and everything, and see if the issue still remains. Sometimes it just needs a quick little refresh. I don't know why it just it just does. But that is pretty much how video capturing device works. It's a plug and play type process. But like I said, at least you guys know some little type of troubleshooting you guys can do if you run into any problems. But if you guys have any questions or comments or anything you want to share about video capture device, let me know inside the comment section below. And if, like I said, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to go ahead, take a look around. And if you like the content, be sure to subscribe. Follow me over on Mixer and I'll catch you guys in a future video. Thank you so much for watching and take care.